Across the globe, what's delicious is questionable. One man's trash is another man's culinary treasure. Why would you eat that? Excuse me. On today's menu, Hazma, AKA Frog Pelopians. Unless you're a desperate princess with an amphibian fetish, you probably think frogs are nasty, what with being all slimy and always peeing on you. Ooh, slippery. Just when you pick them up to kiss them. But frogs are tremendously popular in China, and not just for their fat beats. CJ Kramit ain't much at first glance, but he's got the mad beats that make everybody dance. Yay! China thinks frogs are pretty tasty, roasting their legs, cooking them up in stir fries, and boiling them in stews. China cannot get enough frog, and they love them so much, they even like to yank out their fallopian tubes to eat them with their desserts. You think that's bad? Try having a puppeteer's hand up your butt all day. Okay, so technically not the actual fallopian tubes, but rather the fatty glandular tissue surrounding them. These are harvested from frogs found in the northeastern regions of China. Around winter, these frogs tend to chow down on a lot of nutrients and fats to prepare for hibernation, causing this glandular tissue to get nice and plump. Here's how it's made. First, find a place with lots of frogs. After collection, they dry the whole frog out and slice them open to scrape the tissue and fats out of the area around the fallopian tubes, and then dry that further to be sold. Because the tissue has to be collected by hand, Hazma sells for a pretty penny, going for as much as $55 for a quarter of an ounce. I don't get out of bed for less than 5K! Make it rain, you bitches! When you're ready to chow down, put the tubes in water and let them rehydrate. They start off small, but swell up to 10 to 20 times their size, so there should be plenty to go around. After rehydration, its most frequent use is in cold dessert soups made with red dates and snow pears, and these soups are available throughout China. Hmm, yes, but why would you eat that? Well, that's the question. Hazma doesn't taste bad. It doesn't have much in the way of taste at all. In terms of nutritional value, however, these things are packed to the tubes with lipids and hormones. Traditional Chinese medicine lists a huge number of benefits for the consumption of hazma, providing relief for swelling, listlessness, cardiac palpitation, insomnia, and a ton of other potential benefits. You know who doesn't get any benefits? The people in this office! It's time to feed them! Yay! Okay, so we've got hazma, and because it's so weird, we thought we'd serve it to people and try to have them guess what it might be. So here we go. Oh, no. Get out of my office. It's gelatinous. A strange texture to it. It smells like a like a wet dog. Okay, yeah. Is it moving? Is it moving? Very fishy. It smells like around the ponds around the Mississippi. Is it like grain? No. Okay. Oh, is it freaking frog eggs, turtle eggs? No. That's perfect. This doesn't really taste like anything. Yep. It doesn't taste like anything. <laughs> the, the fallopian tubes of frogs. The, the fat from around the fallopian tubes of frogs. <laughs> that sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's the fat scraped from around the fallopian tubes of frogs. No. Mm, it's called hazma. It's a Chinese delicacy. Did you know fallopian tubes are as big as hairs? Yeah. Get out of here. I'm going to knock that out of your hand. Why is Georgia so angry? Find out on a special episode of Dude Food airing next Tuesday. It's awesome. And that's Hazma. We out! I just licked myself and now I'm tripping balls! Click subscribe and come back next week for more Why Would You Eat That? And send us the strange foods you'd like to see next on Twitter.